Are you someone who doesn't like changing to summertime and back again every year? It's just as well you're living in the 21st century and not the 19th, because then it used to change not just for summer and winter, but all the time, as soon as you took a trip anywhere. Let's say you were leaving Geneva for Lugano. You had to adjust your watch by 10 minutes at least. The time lag could be up to 18 minutes between the opposite ends of the country. The difference was, in those days, time didn't change based on the government, but by astronomical measurement. Every area calculated its local time from the sun, so there were as many time zones as there were lines of longitude. Imagine what a mess railway timetables would be if it was still like that. It was the development of railways, in fact, that made the Swiss government adopt one standard time in 1853, the average time in Bern. The same thing happened in other countries. It was now one time for one country. But that didn't deal with the problem completely. What about border areas? In Geneva in 1880, the landmark clock tower displayed three times. Paris time for trains going to France, Bern time for trains within Switzerland, and Geneva local time. In 1928, the world finally adopted a universal standard time, GMT, based on the meridian at Greenwich. That brought a bit of order. Summertime came much later. It really caught on in the 1970s with the oil crisis. The idea was to save energy. In Switzerland at first, the people rejected it when it was put to a vote in 1978. The killer argument was that you couldn't suddenly start milking the cows an hour earlier. But with the practice becoming general in Europe, Switzerland could hardly afford to be in a time warp. So the changeover finally came in 1981. Conservative right political figure Christoph Blocher, among others, tried to get a popular initiative off the ground a year later. But it never took off. His argument was, summertime brought no real energy savings and disturbed the natural rhythms of humans and animals. That's the very same argument being said by people in Europe who want to get rid of it now. Every member state of the EU has to decide what it wants by April 2019. To abolish summertime or not. Hopefully they'll all want the same thing. If they don't, we'll be turning back the clock to the 19th century.